Utah. Sanders should be favored here. And there was a poll released yesterday that upholds this. Remember, you can't rig a caucus, or at least not the same way you can rig a ballot. So if he gets the turnout, then you could see the substantial victory that he needs right now. I said the same thing in Illinois, and the language I used was a little more confident than my analysis. But the inability to rig the vote means that I shouldn't be beaten by questionable tactics like I was there. Sanders should really actually win Utah pretty big. An unexpectedly big margin would be a nice boost right now. Idaho. There's no pulling at all. But Sanders should get a very tentative advantage based on his wins in states like Colorado and Kansas. It's a little more than an educated guess, but you can't read your clocks. Arizona. The one released poll had 24% undecided, which suggests a huge level of uncertainty. I'm not at all aware of any factors that may sway undecideds in any direction except the ubiquity of Hillary Clinton. I do not believe the kind of media that would help Sanders and probably did in Michigan has happened in Arizona over the past week. However, it's well known that Sanders has a lot of support in Tucson, too. The cold truth is that there simply isn't any direct data to ground any kind of prediction in, but there is a lot of reason to think it ought to be somewhere between Nevada and Colorado in terms of revol results. Um, if you see a Clinton win with the same kind of margins that you got in some of the southeastern states, it should set off red flags. The first two states um, seem like um, Sanders um, is clear, a clear winner in. Um, it's it, it it's not clear at all what would or would not happen in Arizona. There's no there's no polling. It's it, it's a total totally unclear. Um, like I say, there was one poll and it had a quarter of the people who were undecided. So it, like like the, the, there's just not data. Um, you can try and you know use racial profiling to try to it. it, it you're not getting anywhere predicting Arizona um, other than looking at some of the states around it and saying, okay, it should be something sort of like, you know, these other states that are close to it. Um, meaning that, you know, you're... It will probably roughly split. That's the truth of it. Um, whether it floats one way or the other, um, that's what you're looking at.